now with the help of soldering iron we will remove these two parts one is cc one is cv okay here and then we will connect this wires and this wire will connect to the this our display parts okay which is we have made so i will connect and i will come back now we have removed this with the help of soldering iron you can see just to clean it so you can see this to be removed now we'll connect this wires so now we have connected all the wires you can see so this manner now we will connect to the this parts and then we will operate the supply now i will connect the input connections with the help of this wires and then this connected to the rectifier so here rectifier unit and this is the filter capacitor i will use it so i will not make any pcb just i will put it here and tie it here only and this is the transformer output will come to the rectify for the rectifications so i have connected the rectifier here you can see this is the rectifier and filter capacitor and then i am connecting the all the parts so current parts i connected and then i have connected the voltage part so that now this display is going to ready okay there we are. so now power supply is almost ready you can see all the connections i have done it you can see this side also so these two parts this is for the constant current this is for the constant voltage and this is the positive supply and this is the negative and here the voltage will display on top side and bottom side current will display so now uh, what i will do i will close this box and then i will see the uh, show you the demonstrations So now I will connect the power supply and will check what is the output voltage. So now may I made it is on. So you can see the display is showing 6.4 volt. So I can vary the voltage. So this is the minimum voltage 1.22. So if I will increase, it's increasing. If I will further increase, it will further increase. so like that i can go the maximum limits so you can see it's uh, 12.4 is showing now further i increased it's 13.8 and then 15 so i will not go more than 15 i can go but it's internally is limited now voltage is maximum 15 volt is showing here so i will reduce further and same voltage i will show in the multimeter so i will connect the multimeter then i will come back again yeah i have connected now i will make the display on so you can see the voltage whatever showing here same is showing there so i will increase i will decrease first so you can see 1.5 1.5 then i will increase further 5.1 5.167 both are approximately same so this is 6.07 6.08 we have to just calibrate this display inside one part is there with that to help with the help of that one we can calibrate so i have calibrated and showing you so you can see further i will increase so 9.97 9.96 so i will i make 10 volt exact so both are 10 volt is showing now i will go to maximum voltage so it's uh, 
now I will go further increase 13 14.5 and then 15 is the last maximum 15 volt is showing now what I will show you so this is the current mo uh, voltage mode I have shown now I will show the uh, current mode so this is the voltage part now this is the current part so it's it's I will make it's zero condition zero position so now you can see the voltage is 12 volt is here I will reduce to 5 volt or any other volt let us assume I will make 5 volt only so I will make exact yeah so it's 5 volt now what I will do I will remove this one because we have seen the display is working fine as per whatever the showing this one uh, our uh, whatever we have made and the multimeter is showing the same now I will show you the current mode so for the current mode I will take one short link wire so this is a short link wire what I will do I will do the short circuit and we have limited the current value to zero position so we will see what will happen whether it is showing the current or no no current so you can see I made the short circuit so in the short circuit condition the current is not flowing see you can see the wire resistance is 0 ohm and uh, uh, voltage was uh, 12 volts so if you uh, sorry 5 volts so if you divide it show it should show the maximum currents but it's showing very very less minimum 60 milliampere currents correct but it is in short circuit condition but it's limited or oh, but voltage will show zero because across the potential uh, across the this terminal voltage will show zero because the it is short circuit is there is no uh, uh, voltage here so ideally voltage becomes zero and current should increase but it, i have limited the current so current is also not increasing but i will show you how the current will increase so what i will do with the help of this part i will increase the current setting so whatever the setting if, if i will increasing see current also increasing slowly slowly if i am increasing current also increasing so i can increase further so same 0.3.5 ampere is flowing with this wire you can see it is increasing i will go maximum so 2 it's 2 ampere 2.2 .2. now i will not go further now i will re reduce it so you can see 1.5 ampere 1.4 ampere is continuous flowing with the with this wire so I will reduce it so you can see in this manner the current mode also working fine so constant current whatever the current will show the current will flow so you can see if the load is fixed if you want to make constant current power supply so if you want to uh, 150 milliampere to flow continuously or 160 milliampere so you can see continuously this current will flow if let us assume you have critical load so you want to give not give to more than uh, 2 ampere or whatever the 150 million or 1 ampere then you have to put in this mode constant current mode so your load will not draw maximum current if anything happen in the inside the load so in this manner this is a working as a constant current mode whether you increase the voltage nothing will happen because voltage and it will not change the current value also it is fixed current but now if i will remove the short if if you see i change the pot setting so voltage should be more only so if you see here now current will show zero because there is no current in the loop it is open circuit now voltage you can see 7.32 voltage showing because i adjust i increase the voltage so further we want to increase we can increase the voltage if you want to decrease we can decrease the voltage so in this manner this constant current and constant voltage power supply is we have developed if you like this development then please hit the like button and if you are new on this channel then please subscribe my channel for the latest video and if you take the membership then i will give the answers for your questions personally thank you